This ahala bread is a super soft, lightly sweetened bread and they taste very similar to a brioche bread and they smells amazing with those toasted sesame seeds on top. And we are making this bread in such a way that we can enjoy those beautiful swirled layers of light and airy bread. So in this video, let's see how to make this wonderful hala bread in six simple steps. So as the first step, let's prepare the dough. It's so simple and easy to make this bread dough. We are going to add all our ingredients into a bowl and mix them all together to form our dough. So I'm adding some warm water. Water which is not cold nor hot but just slightly warm. Then adding honey. We can also use sugar. One and a half teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of yeast. 3 tablespoons of oil and 2 eggs stir and mix them all together and then I'm adding almost half of the flour and mix them all together And then adding the rest of the flour and combine them all together to form a shaggy mass of dough. And now transfer the dough onto a clean work surface and then we need to knead the dough. If you are using a stand mixer, it will be easy for you to knead the dough. You can use the dough hook attachment and knead the dough for 6 to 8 minutes. And if you are kneading the dough by hand, uh, the dough may seem sticky in the beginning and we may get tempted to add more flour into this. But don't do that. Just continue to knead and you will see the extra moisture will get absorbed and slowly our dough will change its texture. And after kneading the dough for 8 to 10 minutes, we'll get a soft, smooth and elastic dough. And our dough is still showing a tendency to stick on to the surface. And now our dough is ready for proofing. So lightly oil a clean bowl and place the dough inside it and cover it with a plastic film and let the dough sit and rise for 45 minutes. And now after 45 minutes our dough has risen slightly and now let's deflate the dough and let's divide the dough. Here we are going to make two loaves of challah bread. So I'm dividing it into two equal parts and then divide each of them into six equal parts so that we can make two loaves of six stranded braided loaf. So now we divided the dough into 12 equal parts and take that small portion of dough and then degas the dough and then tuck in the edges towards the center and then roll it into the shape of a round ball. Mm -hmm. 
and now we finished all our 12 dough balls and let them sit for 6 to 8 minutes so that the gluten strands will relax and which will prevent its tendency to rebound back while we shape them so take the dough ball and place it on a lightly floured work surface and then press and flatten the dough and then roll and shape it into the shape of a cylinder Now again roll it until they reach around 20 centimeters in length and then keep it aside and work with the rest of the dough balls until we finish all the dough balls. And then take the one that we shaped first and roll it and elongate it until it reaches around 30 centimeters in length. And now we prepared all our six strands for braiding. Here I'm dusting the top with some more flour so that it will prevent them from sticking together and you will find it much easier while we braid and shape the bread. And now bring all the strands together and pinch them. And using the heel of our palm just press so that it will stay together and now we are going to braid our bread it's so simple and easy to braid this bread actually we are repeating the same pattern and movements from start to finish so if you are doing this for the first time you will need to understand only the first two movements so before we do the braiding place them as a set of two strands and we will start with the set in the right first and then with the set in the left and then with the set in the right and left and so on and for making it simple i'm calling the one in the medial side or the inside as a one and the one on the outside or on the lateral side as a two and we need to remember only two things while braiding that is we will always start with the first and then with the second and we always take the first one and place it on the opposite end and the second one to the middle of other two sets see I'm taking the first one and placing it here and then the second one to the middle of the other two sets and then we again have three sets of two and then we will work with the set on left and then we will repeat the same process till the end towards the end of braiding braid them until we are not able to shape them anymore and now pinch them off together at the end and then tuck it underneath on both sides and it looks so beautiful and it makes us feel so happy and it brings us a feeling of joy and accomplishment and maybe that's why the reason we love baking especially baking bread 
and now place it on a parchment lined baking tray and then work with the other loaf. And now we finished shaping our bread. Let's give an egg wash on top. Here I'm applying some oil on this plastic film so that it will not stick to the dough. So cover the dough with the greased plastic film and let them sit and rise for one and a half to two hours. As this is an enriched bread dough, it will take a slightly longer proofing time than a regular bread. So if your place is warm, it will rise and puff up at around one and a half hours. And if your place is cold, it will take around two hours to puff up and rise. So now after one and a half hours, our shaped breads have risen well. And now let's give one more egg wash which will give a nice shine and golden brown color to our bread when baked. And I'm sprinkling the top with some sesame seeds as well. And now they are ready to go into the oven. So bake it at 350 Fahrenheit for 28 to 30 minutes. And after baking, we'll get beautiful loaves of challah bread. Transfer them onto a cooling rack so that the bottom will not get soggy. And they are soft and fluffy. And the smell of freshly baked bread with those toasted sesame seeds is so amazing. And you will love those feather light swirly layers of delicious cloud of bread. And these are one of the best breads for making French toast and i hope you like this recipe hope you will make this at home and i'm sure you will not only love this bread but also the process of making it and if you like this video please give your valuable thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love homemade bread and thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video see you next time